Let's solve the compound inequality. Notice, for this compound inequality, we have the word or, which means the union. So first, let's solve our first inequality by adding 3 to both sides. We have 2x is less than 8. We divide both sides by 2, and we have x is less than 4. Or, let's solve the second inequality by adding 6 to both sides. We have 3x is less than or equal to 10. We divide 3 on both sides, and we have x is less than or equal to 10 thirds. Let's take a look at our number line. First, we have x is less than 4. So starting at 4, with a parenthesis because we have a strict inequality, we draw our arrow to the left. Or we have x is less than or equal to 10 thirds. Notice we have the equal sign here, so we're going to have to draw a bracket at 10 thirds, which is 3 and 1 third. And we draw our arrow to the left because we again want values less than or equal to 10 thirds. Now it's important to notice that we have the word or here, which means the union. So the union means that we write our solution set by joining both solutions. So we have the set of all x such that x is going to be less than 4. Notice x is less than 4 is a solution to the first set, and we've also included all the solutions to the second set. So this is the union of those two solutions. And interval notation would be from negative infinity up to but not including 4.